Hey, good morning. Paul Farmer here in uh, Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, doing a Facebook Live. Doing a Facebook Live. So, uh, welcome. Let's give it a minute for people to hop on. But today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about the single biggest mistake people make, myself included. Uh, when they first start online, or if they've been online for a little while, biggest mistake they make, what it's going to cost them time, money, and their freedom, and their freedom, okay? And believe me, I made this mistake. So if you want to know what that is, stay tuned. Uh, welcome, Carmen and Orlando. Welcome, welcome. All right, so um, just, to, just to start this off, uh, I literally just finished doing a workout. I've uh, been doing this six week workout program. I'm on the sixth week now, just start the sixth week. So, uh, that's exciting. I might have a little less energy than normal, but, but, um, that's something that I'm really enjoying and it really helps me kick off my day. So I have decided that, uh, I'm going to be doing more Facebook lives. In fact, my mentor said we need to be doing a 21 day Facebook live challenge. Now that's another topic in itself because I don't really believe in challenges so much because it's not so much the challenge. A person can go and do a challenge is a whole nother topic, but a person can do a challenge and then they get finished that challenge and then they stop. You want to be building the habit. So the habit becomes something that you do religiously. You do it day after day after day after day after day consistently. So, you know, I've been I've been over on YouTube. Many of you know this. I have a YouTube channel and I've been on YouTube doing YouTube lives, but I wasn't doing Facebook lives. And my mentors like you got to do Facebook lives. You know, everyone's like do Facebook lives. I'm like, man, I'm doing YouTube lives. I got to do Facebook, too. So um, I guess I'm challenging myself to do it. OK, so you're going to be seeing more of me. Um, honestly, doing these little video challenges is not anything for me. I've been doing videos for a long time. So, um, anyway, uh, let's get to it. Okay. Let's get to it. So what's the biggest mistake? So I posted something right below this video. Um, quite a few people are liking it, you know, um, and I think the reason they like it is because it speaks the truth. And the truth is if you are looking for something that's easy okay so if your sole purpose is to find something that's easy um it's gonna hurt you man it's really gonna hurt you and i speak from my own personal experience i went down this road where and, and here's the thing let me just back up just a little bit okay so typically people that are looking for it to be easy Something that says, hey, do nothing, make 10000 a month, you know, system does everything, or they get caught up in these, um, I hate to say this word, but it's a scam, right? They get, they get caught up in these scams. Um, what happens is typically they're in a desperate situation, not always. Um, this was for me. It, this is how it happened for me. I got caught up. In, I was in a desperate situation. I desperately needed to start making some money. And I started looking for what was easy versus what's proven, you know, versus what's, hey, you know what, you do the work, you're going to get the rewards. So I started looking what's for easy. And, and, I, and I see this so much online. Like people are doing this constantly where they're looking for things to be easy instead of wanting to do the work. Like, for example, I see things like this. Uh, no recruiting, right? No recruiting. Okay, so let me say this. If you're posting an ad that says no recruiting, you're recruiting in the first place. Okay. Um, but but that's that's just one of the things out. I mean, done for you. There's so many traps out there um, that people fall into, but the reason they fall into them is because they're looking for it to be easy instead of doing the work. So the very best decision I ever made after going through this cycle, and I could list a ton of programs I've been involved in because I, I was looking at it all wrong. I was like, oh, that looks easy. Someone else can do that. That looks easy, you know? And <laughs> what easy equals is heartache. What easy equals is spending a bunch of money and not getting any reward for it, being taken advantage of, um, having your money gone, right? Like taken from you, 
having your time taken from you. I look back and, and I look at all the time I spent on some of these things that I thought were going to be easy. And man, I wasted so much time that I cannot get back. That I cannot get, I can't get that time back. So I advise you, okay? So the next time you're looking at a program, whatever that program is, the next time you're looking at a program, if it, ask yourself this, am I considering joining this because I perceive it to be easy? Or am I considering joining this because, you know, this is something that I could see myself building up and it's going to last for a while, right? And there's no telling online, I mean, what's going to last, right? But, I mean, you could kind of use your best judgment. If you're jumping into something because you're desperate, typically it's going to lead to you getting into something that's probably not legit, that you are going to perceive as easy, which is going to lead to you wasting time, wasting money, and losing your freedom, because that's what it does. That's what it does. Um, so after a long time, I've been online almost seven years. March, late March will be seven years for me, okay? Um, not a big deal. There's people out there 20 years, whatever. Not a big deal. But when I finally decided to stop looking for easy, like for example, in uh, 2017, okay? It's a little bit before that, but 2017 is when I really said enough is enough. I am done looking for easy. And I actually went and I focused, put my focus on a program that's been around for years and years that at the time, not a lot of people were talking about it. It's kind of at a, at a low point. There was, there was no hype or anything, right? And I put my focus on it because I knew it was stable. I was using the products. I was a product of the product actually for years before. And I put my focus on it. And by doing so, by, by removing the stupid easy thing, I actually went on to create a full-time income. Go figure, right? Instead of like going and, oh, well, that looks easy. Oh, that system's done for you. Oh, they're going to do everything for me. I've done all that crap in the past. It blows up in your face. You're going to waste time. I'm telling you. Um, you could heed my advice <laughs> or you could go down that path. I advise you not to go down that path. The next time you look for something. Um, so, so here's the thing too, and this is kind of like a different topic, but when you're focusing on a skill and let's say it's not easy at the beginning, it's freaking hard. You know, for example, recruiting. A lot of people are terrified of recruiting. A lot of people are terrified of talking to people. A lot of people are, are terrified of asking people if they're open to looking at their business. They're terrified. I was when I first started, okay? So what happened by me avoiding that was piss poor results. <laughs> Terrible results in the broke house, right? Like the poor house, no money coming in. Miserable right? Because I was avoiding that because I perceived it as hard. But how does it get easy? It gets easy by you continuing to do it. The more you do it, the easier it will get. So it's kind of a little bit off topic. And, and, and I have a tendency to do this. Like I get so many ideas and I just like want to share. Um, but, but that's just, you know, th that's my message for today. That's my message. If you're perceiving something to be easy, and I'm not saying what I'm not saying is, do, I'm not saying go and grind and grind and grind and grind and grind and grind. That's not the way. Work smarter, not harder, right? But it's not go, hey, look at this program over here. It's just going to pay me for doing nothing. Or this system is going to pay me 10000 20000 whatever the number they throw up there is. And it's not entirely the people's fault. It's the marketer's fault. They, per, they set it up this way. They make it look easy to attract people in. I am doing my best to get away from that easy notion and telling people straight up, look, if you commit to learning a skill for a year, it's 365 days, a full year, I can guarantee you, if you commit to learning a skill, perhaps you perceive something as hard, you commit to learning how to communicate with people, be a pers real person, communicate with people or commit to doing videos or commit to learning how to get engagement. It goes with connecting with people as well. Um, learn a skill that's going to pay you 
I'm not talking about a trade, okay? I'm talking about sales and marketing. Learn those skills, become effective at it, and you won't have to worry about money ever again, okay? But if you continue to go down this road where it's easy, oh, it's easy, look at that. I don't have to do anything, and money's just gonna roll in. And, and the industries, we don't really see it too much anymore. We don't really see the, uh, the rev shares too much anymore. But, you know, you have these cryptocurrency programs that talk about, oh, you know, double, double the amount, triple the amount, whatever, right? It's all nonsense. It's going to take you down the rabbit hole. It's going to take you the wrong way. Um, so I know I've repeated myself a few times, but I feel like this really needs to be stressed. And I'm telling you, when it changed for me, this is when it changed for me. I stopped looking for it to be easy, and I got in the trenches, and I did the work. That's when it changed. There is no magic pill. There is nothing else. That's when it changed. And how did it get easier for me? By showing up every day and being consistent and constantly focusing on getting better at what I'm doing. That's how it gets better. That's how it gets easier. That's how you create income, okay? It's not going, oh, well, this is going to be easy. It's just going to come right in. That's that's not what works, okay? So um, I would say the second biggest mistake, I may save this for another day, but it's not getting a mentor. <laughs> that's the second biggest mistake in my opinion because that's going to, if you don't do that, it's going to take you time, it's going to take you money, and it's going to take away your freedom again because you don't know what the hell you're doing throwing crap on the wall. That's another topic for another day. Um, if you guys would like to know what I do, how I'm able to create full-time income online, go ahead and send me a private message. If you got value, you know, feel free to share this uh, with whoever you feel would, would benefit from hearing, hearing it. Um, this is day one for me. Uh, this is going to become a routine for me, so I just got to I got to build that muscle, you know, keep doing it and doing it and doing it and get better at it. But uh, I'm going to be hopping over to YouTube in just a few minutes. I'm going to go do a live over there as well. So if you guys want to check out YouTube, like what I do over there, uh, feel free to hop over there or check out a recording or whatever. Um, but I'll be going over there next, okay? So thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Remember, message me. If you want to know what I'm doing, how I'm able to create full-time income, how I can help you grow your business a little more efficiently, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for attending, guys. You have a great day.